has entered his house in Fallujah, 50 kilometers north of Baghdad. His old white sedan is still parked outside. Today, it really feels like a rebirth. Fawaz's family fled Fallujah as soon as the Islamic State group entered the city in January 2014. The 17-year-old stayed behind but eventually had to flee the jihadists. The city was retaken from the IS group in June of this year after heavy fighting. But save for some broken windows, Fawaz's house is still intact. It's a normal feeling. There's nothing worse than living far away. At home you feel good. That's not the case anywhere else. The first Fallujah residents to return are welcomed by checkpoints decked out with plastic flowers. After ridding the city of IS, the Iraqi army is now encouraging former residents to come back. But only 14 families have made the journey, well short of the hundreds promised by authorities. In the neighborhoods cleared of explosive devices, soldiers paint blue marks on houses deemed safe. We want to be among the first people to come back, to encourage those who will follow. People are afraid, they're afraid of coming back because they think their house might be booby-trapped. So we're here to encourage them to follow us. Only the relatively unscathed northern districts of Fallujah are seeing families return. And authorities say the situation will soon get back to normal, with water and electricity being restored. God willing, we hope returns will increase in the coming days. We want to reassure residents who wish to come back. The town's safe. Security forces will do whatever it takes to get rid of difficulties and obstacles that might hinder your return. 3.4 million Iraqis have been displaced in Iraq since the start of 2014. Since then, 900,000 people have returned to areas retaken from the Islamic State group, according to the UN. Inscriptions praising IS's self-proclaimed caliphate still adorn Fallujah's walls, close to Fawaz's home. For him, the big cleanup is just beginning.